Hey guys, MacH here and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to bring you a Demonic Gorilla guide. The reason I have released this guide now versus 3 weeks ago when Monkey Madness 2 came out is because I wanted to wait until the drop rates were official. If you enjoy the guide, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also stream on twitch.tv slash mac underscore h. I'll leave that link in the description below as well. So as always guys, I'm going to start with a table of contents. This is your action bar per se to quickly get to wherever you think you need to be in the video. I've broken the video down into five main categories, one being overview, two requirements, three drop rates, four gear setup slash inventory, and five killing demonic gorillas. Number one, overview. So demonic gorillas are located inside crash site tavern. They have a combat level of 275 and 380 hit points. They use all three combat styles, melee, magic, and range, and they have a special attack that drops a rock from the ceiling, which you have to dodge. There are two different spots where you can kill these in single and in multi. I will be killing them in single. Number two, requirements. So the only real requirement is the completion of Monkey Madness 2. However, I do recommend 80 plus melee stats as well as 80 plus range. This is highly recommended because if you don't have these, it's going to take extremely long to kill and you're probably not going to get many kills per trip unless you're very good at switching, which is the next point I want to make. Being good at switching is a huge advantage. I will show you guys some tips and tricks in order to be able to maximize efficiency on your runs, but you need to know how to switch. And lastly, having a decent sized bank is going to help because you can obviously afford better gear and that is important. So there are six unique drops at Demonic Gorillas. These drops can be used to make the new best in slot range mage and melee amulets, rings and bracelets, as well as the heavy and light ballista, which is the new God War-esque range type weapon. Anyways, the six drops are as follows. One Zenite Shard with a one in 300 chance, Two Ballista Limbs with a 1 in 500 chance. Three Ballista Spring with a 1 in 500 chance as well. Four Light Frame with a 1 in 750 chance. Five Heavy Frame with a 1 in 1500 chance. And six Monkey Tail with a 1 in 1500 chance as well. Number four, Gear Slash Inventory Setup. So when I'm killing Demonic Gorillas, I'm usually on a Slayer task, which is why my setup looks like it does to the left. However, if you're not on task and you're just camping these things, you can keep my setup and replace my Slayer Helm with the Serpentine Helm. You can also use Void and Guthans as those are great alternatives. So here's my setup. I use a Slayer Helm, an Amulet of Fury, which you can switch for a Zenite Amulet if you have it, a Range Cape, so the blowpipe darts are being collected, a Vissel Bludgeon, Carol's Leather Top, Bandos Tacits, Borrow Gloves, Berserker Ring Imbued, and I'm using Dragon Boots. You can substitute these for Primordial Boots. But I've tried a number of setups, including Abyssal Tentacle and Dragon Defender, and I think that the Blungeon is far superior than the Tentacle and Dragon Defender. Two other great reasons why I use the Abyssal Blungeon is one, I do not have to waste charges on the Tentacle, and two, I have one-click switches to melee versus two. Obviously, the Tentacle and Dragon Defender is two clicks, and the Abyssal Blungeon is one. As far as my inventory setup, I have a Blowpipe, one Super Combat Potion, one Range Potion, six Prayer Potions, a Slayer Ring to quickly get back to Neve's Cave, or I guess now it's Steve's Cave, and a desert amulet to quickly recharge prayer. I also am using anglerfish. You can substitute these with sharks if you want. I use anglerfish to maximize my trips per load, and I'm also using a Ceridoma God Sword to heal. One final thing relating to the inventory setup is that I know that some people use the Royal Seed Pod, but I do not. This is because although it is 20 seconds quicker, you are wasting two inventory spaces. The first inventory space is for the seed pot itself, and the second space is because you have to have your hands free, which means that your bludgeon and your blowpipe are both in your inventory. Number five, killing gorillas. So from the Slayer Cave, you're gonna wanna run north, and you're gonna wanna run to the west of the Grand Tree, past the swamp, and you're gonna approach a gate you're going to want to go through it 
and you just saw a gravestone to the right of the gate that actually shows you how many demonic gorilla kills you have it wasn't released with the gorillas it was released a week late so um, it's not going to be accurate in terms of kill count so all you're going to want to do is run up the stairs as I just did and I go to the far southwest because there is more people which means a less chance of being PJ'd by the gorillas. So gorillas is all about calculation and strategizing. I'm going to slow down the first clip and explain to you my thought process behind it. I always range when starting a gorilla kill. The reason being is if I'm close to it meleeing it, he can melee range or mage me and I'm not sure which attack he's going to do. However, if I'm farther away from it, I can at least see if he's coming towards me and I can switch to my melee prey in time. Therefore, I can either choose range or magic, which increases the chance of negating his attack from 33% to 50%. So gorilla styles work like this. After the style has hit three zeros, it switches to its next style. Right now he's meleeing, and he just hit his third zero, so it's either going to be a magic or a range. I'm guessing it's going to be magic. That's a rock, which is a special attack, and you make sure you dodge it. So I guess correctly, that's his second zero. One more zero with his magic attack, and he's going to switch to the next style, but he's dead. So now I'm going to show you guys a full kill. So I'm a safe distance away. I'm going to guess that he's going to use his range attack first which he does, so that counts as the first zero. He uses a rock, which is a special attack. I'm dodging it, and now I'm gonna have to switch to melee because he put his range protect on. He used another rock, and now he just used his second range attack. One more zero, and then I'm gonna switch. Oh, he's coming for melee. Switch to protect from melee, and now he just hit his second zero. I'm gonna step back. One more zero, there it is. So now I'm gonna guess he's using magic which he does and I'm gonna switch to range he uses a rock so that does not count there's his second zero using magic I'm switching to melee I hit a nice hit there there's his third zero he's coming to melee me so I protect from melee prayer I'm switching to range that's his second zero and he's dead alright guys I want to show you one more kill this is going to be live commentary not voiceover commentary so bear with me I'm going to guess that he's going to be using his range attack. Nope, so magic, but he hit a zero, so that counts as his first zero. There's his second zero, and there's his third zero coming into melee me. I'm going to have to switch here. There's his first zero with melee, second zero with melee, and third zero with melee. I'm going to guess that he's going to be using his magic attack. He does. First magic attack, zero. Switching back here. Second magic attack zero and third zero. I'm switching to range. Oh, gonna be melee. So that does not count as my first one. That does right there. There's my first zero with melee. Second zero with melee. And third zero with melee. I'm guessing he's going to be using his magic attack now. That does not count. Ooh, good heal though. Oh, he's going to use his range attack. That's his first zero with range, even though I didn't guess correctly. That's his second zero, third zero with range. I'm guessing back to magic. There's his first zero with magic. Dodge that. There's his second zero with magic. And third zero with magic. Back to range. First zero with range. There's second zero third zero back to magic and he's dead sorry for my extremely obnoxious clicks but anyways guys this completes another video my demonic gorilla guide if you guys enjoyed this video please slap a like on it i'm loving the support that you guys are giving my channel as of lately i hope you guys have been enjoying all these uploads that i have been putting on my channel recently and also subscribe if you are a new viewer uh, i hope you like my channel and i hope this video helped you and down below in the description guys i've also linked my twitch i'm trying to grow as a twitch channel so be sure to follow that and i will see you guys next time peace